There we go. Okay. Morning in progress. All right. Thank you, Grant. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> so to rewind, we called the meeting to order, went into executive session, and then we just did the pledge, and now we had public comment. There were no public comment, so we just closed public comment, and we're moving on from there. Abbreviated half hour. Um, we have the minutes from the March 21st. 2022 Board of Education regular meeting to approve. Any comments, changes? I'm looking at trying to follow the you know, posting of the minutes, and as I look at them, the current version up there, they seem to be incomplete. Because the under the motion to approve the draft charter facilities management committees is presented, the um, copy of the charter is not attached to the minutes. So is that what you're saying? It's missing, Barry? The, the, the charter is missing. It's up. Okay. We'll uh, go back and attach it. I don't think we can approve the minutes until we can look at the chart. We can approve it with the stipulation that the minute the um, charter will be included. Last night, there's a whole discussion around that because we have to see, like, I would like to see how it's actually presented in terms of like how what we put on there as the official document uh, closely aligns with what we actually discussed at the last meeting. It's the exact same document that you. Yeah, we approved. Uh, so, except that, that the word draft, the, the only thing that will change is the word draft will be removed. I, Okay. So I don't think we can still contend that the meetings are incomplete unless we have that on. Okay. Well, um, we will. So that we we can make the motion that to approve it with the stipulation that that will um, be added. And there's the reason I'm trying to push that is because I think that we are in trouble with freedom of information in terms of how that comes up there. Because if we, as I understand it, if we propose a document, we have a motion for approving the draft agenda, and then what appears on the minutes is the final document, then our statement to the public as to what we're doing in the initial um, session does not match what actually came up, came up on the minutes. See, if we propose that we're going to approve the draft, then we have to put the draft onto the minutes. Barry, I'm going to I'm going to ask that we try to move on. I mean, you're I think you're making this more complicated. I think I it's, it's a big big issue. Um, I think it's a pretty information issue. And wait, let me go another way on this. That I think this is something that we should bring to um, the Labor Council to see whether we are in violation of freedom of information. And transparency by because, sorry, because we have a sorry, but because we had a word draft in the original, which we have to have draft before we approve it because it's not approved in case there are edits. We approved it and now we mistakenly excluded from the minutes. You're right, it should be, it should be the attachment should be in the minutes, but other than that, we didn't change anything. So I'm not sure where the FOI issue is. Because we're saying we're doing one thing and then not doing another. I think you, you have to expand that. I don't know what, what are we doing and not doing. I, I don't understand that. We're passing the draft. That motion. And then when we go to the minutes, well, we're not putting a draft in the minutes. We're putting a final copy. Which is the exact same document. Yes. But you see, it's... What we've done is we've communicated to the public that we're going to have a draft discussion. But you did. The minutes come out, we put in the final document. Correct. That's, see, that's not. That's what was decided and voted on by the board. Done. Yeah, but see, it's not transparent. I don't know what's it hasn't transparent. Changed. Can, I think we're. So, yeah. are there any other. We could, we could talk offline. Are there any other. I think that, you know, I mean, I would like to actually make a motion that we bring this to the Labor Council. Make sure that we're in compliance with freedom of information. That time. What we can send you what your thoughts are in email, and I can check with legal counsel. Mary, we yeah. don't have if the final, the final document 
and they also attach a document with draft stamp on it. Would you feel that would be that would be corrective enough? I think at some point we have, I think that the motion should be that we approve this document. The document that we vote on should be a document that goes in minutes. It should not be a draft. Or, so, Baron, I'm going to keep us moving we'll, we'll, along. We can talk. If you want to yeah. email Jeff with some thoughts, and I'm happy to be copied on it, yeah. and we can check with our attorneys. But um, and, and if we don't get approval of the minutes, we may go on, but I, I'd like to see, are there any other comments or changes? Well, yeah, anyone... you're in the what do you think? No, 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 okay. That's not appropriate. No, no and no. it's not no. representing us, <laughs> just because you're an attorney doesn't yet. That's not a, uh, make, you can opine on any legal matter. Um, so, would anybody like to make a motion on the minutes with the, and add the stipulation of adding the document for the uh, the charter for the facilities asset committee? Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the March 21st board of education regular meeting, regular meeting with the addition of Sorry, it's the um, the charter for the facilities asset management committee. With the addition of the charter for the facility asset management committee. I'll second. I'll second. Yes. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed. Kate and Barry, abstain. Uh, me, I was out. Definitely. And Bill abstain. Not there. Motion passes. Minutes are approved. Next, we move on to the special reports, and we have Ann Santoro here as the selectman representative. Hi, Ann. No comment about the FOIA issue. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> I just, we've been busy with a number of items of course, like the most recent, probably most uh, significant, I think, um, is that we uh, last week approved the um, a plan of the ARP subcommittee. Um, uh, I chaired that subcommittee. And um, as you probably remember, uh, the town received about $5.4 million in total. In ARP funding, half of it was received um, last May, or actually last June. And um, from that period of time to January of this year, the town appropriated about 1.6 million of, of, uh, of that allocation. Um, about 90% of that went to the town side projects, uh, largest being well five, which is quite costly close to a million dollars. And then um, uh, about nine or 10% of that went to some local nonprofits. So the thinking as you just speed through history here, but the thinking was um, perhaps we should establish a subcommittee to look at the remaining 3.7 million and how best to spend that. Other towns have been doing similar things. So we did establish a subcommittee. Our first meeting was January 20th, and we had a time frame of about two months. We filed our report and made our presentation to Board of Selectmen by March 16th. So um, lots of work went into those, went, went into that report. Um, it's available online if you'd like to look at it um, through uh, Board of Selectmen uh, minutes. Um, Board of Finance will, uh, will consider this at their Wednesday meeting. Uh, but basically, um, uh, we have a number of town projects that have met the criteria under the ARP uh, law and regulations, um, as well as uh, a number of nonprofits and some small businesses uh, who also met qualifications. Uh, our town attorneys reviewed everything that our plan suggested and um, uh, gave it the thumbs up, so we can't stop your staff or board selectmen to approve. Um, but we, you know, we're, we're pleased with the, you know, I think we, we, we've done pretty well. We upped our 
our contributions into community nonprofits from 9% to about 12%. So that was good. We did come up with an application process. Um, both townsite had its kind of application process, if you will, and then within the community there was an application process. Um, so something really important too, because you've probably been reading about in this piece of funds under you know CARES Act and ARP. And so we're um, we've recommended and board of selectmen are pursuing this to have a follow-up. Uh, on town side it's not an issue because we have accounting and auditing, but if you are getting money into a community, um, how how do you follow up? How do you appropriately follow up? So uh, there are some documents that can be used for that um, agreements to be signed with recipients and follow up steps. So uh, we're pleased about taking that approach. But I recommend you take a look at the report if you want to have an idea of how how the money is. Um, you know, hopefully will be spent. Again, the board of finance will have to make that final approval, and then we'll go to town meeting. So that's how that work out. But that's. I'm probably giving you more detail than you need, but I, I, I sort of lived it for two months, so uh, <laughs> that was my, my work for two months. But um, I think all in all, I think it's you know well thought out, and um, folks worked really hard on it. We had a nice uh, group of community members, four of the eight were community members on, on this subcommittee, so I think that was really important that we, that we did that. So I think that's about it. If anyone has any questions? Any questions for him? Yeah. Not about the CARES Act, but about the Amtrak fence. Have we have any word on what's going on with the fence? Yeah, so last that I understand, um, uh, it's really back in the in, in you know, the walls in the court of Amtrak to come up with a better, you know, uh, proposal than, than a first go around with the fence with the curb top and the blocking of the view. So I think something can be worked out. I believe Senator Blumenthal did come to town. Uh, our first election, Siri, has um, spoken to the representatives at Amtrak as well. And I think that little extra push, you know, um, by our, uh, you know, by Blumenthal is also very helpful, to be honest. So, so, but, but it, you know, and I, I think the community members of businesses were also pretty vocal about um, it has to be a compromise here. So, I, I think something can be worked out. Sure. Other questions? Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so then now we move on to the East Line Eight School student representatives. We have Sachi and Manat here. Um, Yes, yeah, I okay. think that's probably best. Yeah, right. thank you. So I will admit there is a little bit of a lull in the time of April, but don't worry, <laughs> May is coming around the corner. <laughs> um, but in the month of April, um, well, coming in May, there's the Teacher Appreciation Week and um, Junior and Senior Proms coming up. And then we had our first um, indoor dance for spring fling on Friday. Um, I think there was a pretty good turnout. There was masks, no masks. Everyone seemed to be happy and it was well organized and everyone had a good time. Um, and then all I have is the inductions for Spanish and German Honor Society were held in the library last Thursday night, which also went very well. Great. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good evening. I'll just add on to what Sachi was saying. So the boys and girls tennis team both have matches coming up. So good luck to them. And then the East Side track team did have an invitation on Saturday and they did well, I believe. Uh, last week was the week of giving for Ukraine and we raised well over $1,000 for the cause, which was pretty nice. And then boys and girls lacrosse now require ticketing online and everyone seems to be enjoying watching it outside. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Bill. Okay, so that closes the special reports. We actually we have two consent agenda consent agenda items. Uh, are there any questions or that you concerns? I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda as posted. I'll second. Other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? 
Okay, passes unanimously. So there were two consent agenda items. The first one for those at home was um, the Massillon stained glass company has donated 150 pounds of scrap stained glass in 2021. They do it every year. It's yeah. the same donation. Okay, in the amount of $3,000 to East Lyme Public Schools for the use of the middle school mosaic art projects. It is something that they do every year and really do appreciate um, to do that. I know my children years ago got to utilize some of that. So uh, it's very cool. And we still have that in our house. Um, <laughs> in the second um, one is a, a donation from Krishna Swami and Anne Marie Great Grash Grabay for East Lime High School's uh, parents who were donating $500 to the East Lime High School Rocketry Club. These funds will be used to purchase rocket motors that are approved by the FAA. Apogee rockets, a 3D printer filament, and electronics, including computer software to program Seros, Seros and release systems on board the rocket. And Pfizer has agreed to match $500, this $500 donation. So thank you uh, for that donation. Praise and really appreciate it. That ends, uh, that's the consent agenda items. And now we move on to a, a discussion action section. And the first is personnel. So proposed appointment of one FTE 12 month principal for Lily B. Haynes School. Yes, it's my uh, great pleasure to bring forth uh, Brian Kalkruth, uh, who uh, was our, is our finalist for the Lily B. Haynes principal position. Uh, we had a very comprehensive process um, that involved um, three, three different uh, interviews. A task was associated with the third interview as well. Um, appreciate uh, Jill Creedy being part of uh, the committee. Um, number of qualified candidates, uh, and it came down to uh, Brian being uh, our top choice. Um, and uh, we're excited. Brian uh, is lives in Guilford, and uh, I'll let you introduce your wife in one second, Brian. But um, he's currently an assistant principal in Sherman, the Sherman School District, um, and was in Chester prior to that, uh, was a uh, elementary teacher, was a uh, elementary math coach, um, fits right in with the work, you know, of our math coaches and the work that we've been doing and engaging in um, over the course of uh, this past year. So we're very excited to have Brian uh, joining our team. Um, he's had a chance to meet some of the administrators, but um, turn it over to the board and then can have Brian say a few words after that. We have a motion. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to approve the appointment of Brian Calcruz to the position of 1.0 FTE 12 month principal at Liberty Hay School. I'll second it. Further discussion? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Yes, unanimously. Congratulations. Can you introduce Leah and a little bit about yourself, Brian, as well? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, thank you all so much. Uh, absolutely ecstatic to begin my work here in East Line. Um, <clears throat> and my wife is joining me here. Uh, this is Leah Kaupers, who has been behind the scenes for <laughs> ever pulling uh, it together. Um, as we go through a really long commute for my, my current position right now. And so we're looking to uh, rebalance uh, and, uh, and join you all. So um, just really thrilled with the opportunity and uh, look forward to continuing to work with all of you. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Welcome. Happy to have you join us. Yeah. All right. No please, no, no need to stay. We're going to have yeah. no please okay. here. No. Yeah. Yep. Go. Yeah. go home and uh, we'll have plenty of time for being here and uh, plenty of work to engage in. So, some great restaurants in town. Okay. <laughs> there was never a ball. Dinner drinks right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I will talk soon. Okay. okay.
So the next item, which Jeff probably needs to be here for, is discussion action item uh, for instruction, and it's the proposed high school graduation date for the class of 2022 and the last day of school for the 21-22 school year. So um, we had our three inclement weather days this year around that gen topic, right? Yep, 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 so, yep, yep, you're right. Uh, <laughs> So we had our three inclement weather days this year um, and uh, it worked out perfectly. We didn't have to move the last day of school. So um, we uh, are looking at June 15th as our last day of school, as well as high school graduation. And uh, we want to get that date set. Um, I know the uh, high school committees and our parents are looking forward to having that confirmed for uh, you know, the, uh, the graduation party and uh, um, all of our graduation endeavors. So June 15th is the date. I would like to make a motion to move, set the graduation date for Eastland High School class of 2020 to be June 15th, 20, sorry, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> class of 2022 to be June 15th, 2022, and to adjust the 2021-2022 Eastland Public School calendar to reflect June 15th, 2022 as the last day of school for Eastland Public School students. Thanks, Candace. That's um, a lot of 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was, Jamie. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Any question, further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. 15th. 15th. Okay. Just, just so what I'm so yeah. one of the, so in the middle school um, ceremony will be the night before, the 14th. Right. Before, yeah. Just so everybody's aware. So it'll be on the high school uh, turf field again, oh, cool. like we did last, last year. year. Oh, that yeah. was really good. It yes. really went well. That was really good. Cool. The kids yes. love that. The yeah. Love that. So we're, we're excited for that. Excellent. Okay, moving on. We're, the next discussion action item is the proposed line public school paraprofessionals <laughs> contract. So um, we had a chance uh, to take a look at the uh, proposed um, contract. I want to thank the uh, paraprofessionals, uh, Chris Marjak, who is our uh, paraprofessional um, president. Uh, she uh, has been wonderful to work with. Um, you know, I want to thank Kim and Mariana too, uh, and, and Annalise. The, the process went very well, um, and uh, we had a very amicable um, relationship and, and negotiation sessions. And uh, Kim and Candace, thank you to you as well for being part of that uh, that process. So um, we brought that bring that contract before you for uh, approval. Any questions on the contract? I would like to make a motion to approve uh, the Board of Education. I would recommend approval of the Board of Education East Line Public Schools Paraprofessionals contract from July 1, 2022 to June 30th, 2025. I'll second. I think uh, Elisa got it. And any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes unanimously. Excellent. So the next topic is discussion topic on the Board of Ed retreat and just give an update. Maybe I'll give a quick update and Jeff, please add to it. So you know, originally we were talking about actually tonight being the retreat date and um, kind of two issues. One is obviously the del deliberations of the Board of Finance would have prevented us from doing this anyway. Um, but we also took some feedback on the facilitator when we're talking a little bit about the facilitator um, two weeks ago, whenever the last meeting was. And we actually are gonna take a different route with who we're gonna um, have as a facilitator that there's the person who actually helped, um, so I think Jamie, Candace, Jill probably know who helped us recruit Jeff um, and hire Jeff, Betty. Betty Osk. Osk. Um, um, short um, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, no, she, no, she's not part of. Uh, uh, so I'll let Jeff talk a little bit about her, give a little background. We, so she also is not was not available tonight anyway. So we're looking in the May time frame, but we haven't heard back. She, no, so she's been yeah, away. That's she's away. She yeah, she's on vacation so. or away. So we're waiting to hear back to lock in a date um, of when she's available. So we'll get back to everyone in terms of that. So it's not that 
it's not the lack of importance of the retreat. It's really we want to make sure we have the right facilitator and, and that we can have good attendance. So hey, Jeff, to give a yeah. little background on Betty as and, and well. Someone, yeah. A few of you know, you know Betty. Um, you know, Betty has done many uh, of these uh, retreats and has uh, done a great job, um, has a lot of experience. So um, we found her to be uh, the most qualified um, and uh, the best for us you know, to, uh, to work with. Um, Betty, uh, I, I like Betty a lot uh, as well. I think she's, she's gonna do a, a great job for us. Um, and she's very to the point. Um, and I think that's gonna be good. That's what I think we, we all need. So that will be helpful. And she's unaffiliated. She's not working specifically in this domain to do the treat under any organization. Um, I reached out to her solely as in specifically, um, can you come to a retreat for us and we'll work out some sort of compensation or she might offer to do it for free. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But um, we like free, but we like free, okay, but yeah. we'll, you know, <laughs> exactly. So as soon as I get back in touch with her, hopefully it will be actually this week. Um, we'll uh, try and lock in some, some possible dates. And then pre that we'll spend some time and thanks, thanks everyone who did send in some information. We'll spend, we'll share some of that with Betty. We'll, Jeff and I will meet with Betty to talk about, you know, what we're trying to, hoping to accomplish and making sure that we're aligned. And we'll have another chance as a board of ed to talk about this once we, we need to get a date and then we'll work backwards from the date to make sure that we have a discussion and make sure we're aligned on what we're going to talk about in the retreat. So um, any questions? In the, okay, I'm going to bring this up. I'm not going to be really in the country most of May. So if we could do it the first week of May, if not, I understand I can't expect the schedule of the board to revolve around me and my travels. But when you back to yeah, Jill, I get back the 31st. I mean, this, okay. this is not when you 31st. I live the 6th of May. Okay. So Good for you. Five, yes, five to five. <laughs> five. I'm going to retire. <laughs> this is like on the bucket list type of trip. So don't deny me. Don't or have fun. Oh, whatever you guys need to do. Okay. What do you guys do? I understand. I have a question for you. What was your response rate from board members for the questions that we were asked? Jeff, yeah, remind me. Uh, I think we got almost everybody. Yeah. yeah, I think we're almost almost there with everybody. That's right. Um, yeah. Yep. Are you saying Give me a minute. I can tell you. This woman, I really. Uh, she was amazing. She was a very straight shooter, and I really like the fact she went immediately to. This is what you need to do. This is, you know, this is what I hear you saying, bam, bam, bam. And I found that, uh, I just found that very effective because it was a tough decision to hire a new superintendent. She, by far, is the most impressive educator I've ever worked with. You know her. With. She yeah. is oh, a, okay. one okay. top-notch woman. Yeah. Okay. So she knows what it's all about. She's no, it's not like she's above or never dealt with the board or. She knows education, <sighs> yeah, no doubt about it. Awesome. Um, you want to spell that? O S G A. O S G A. Yes. Sound like my book. She takes them prisoners. Good, and I think it's definitely worth us waiting to get the right person to facilitate because I don't want to waste all of our time. Um, if we're going to do the retreat, it's a big commitment for all of us, so I, I do want to make sure of that. Um, any other? Questions? Go ahead, Barry. As a result of doing this, um, what is going to be the outcome of it? So I think we have more time. I think we'll talk about this over time. Let's get a date, and then we're going to talk about kind of making sure that we're all aligned on what are we going to hope to accomplish on it? What's it going to be like? So I, I think we have some time to, to go through that in a little more detail. Yeah, no preliminary thoughts on it. I think we all do, Gary. I think we do have thoughts and we collected a lot of that information. I think we need to kind of condense that into something and share it. So that's um, what I hope to do. Eric, quick question on yeah. the feedback that you collected. So you have kind of a broad range of feedback that you can, as you're yeah. saying, condense, but sort of prioritize or get us into it. Yeah, I mean, there's. So. Uh, there's a broad range of feedback. I think there's some themes that are consistent. So you want to make sure we capture those themes, share it with everyone, but also make sure the things that 
you know, just because only one person said it doesn't mean nine people, other people aren't thinking it, maybe just may not have said it. Um, so it's making sure we capture, have a discussion, a broad discussion about here, here are the common themes, here are the other things we've heard, and then see collectively how we want to go about the retreat. We have, it's like seven, eight, eight folks that have uh, responded with some great uh, information, great thoughts yeah. um, and feedback. So I've got a running tally and list of everybody's you know, comments together that we can decide how we want to she push that out. She was superintendent in line all time. And What's that? She was superintendent in line all time. Yes, yeah, she, yep. She's been in yeah. a couple of different districts. Yes. Great. And if people have, you know, we have tons. So if people do ha haven't responded or have additional comments, you know, feel free to send them to Jeff, copy me. Um, as we continue to kind of progress. But, you know, we have a little time that we'll be able to con consolidate, get a date, consolidate the information, come back to a, um, another board meeting and spend more time. We've abbreviated this one to just discussion um, and recognizing that we had a brief agenda. We don't have a lot of time. We have the policies that we want to go through as well. So that's why I'm not cutting, cutting the, Discussion short today, but not cutting the discussion short in the broader terms. So I'm wondering if I can ask a question. Will Betty or Dr. Asuka get the questions and the responses prior to, and then perhaps next step, my suggestion would be to ask her if there's any missing blanks, like oh. what is being indicated, what further information, and then maybe another potential query out to us, like how we would respond yeah. to the next uh, level of questions. 100%, 100%, I think it may have been Lee or was suggested about a pre-survey and so, so I wanna see what she wants, you know, what, how does she want, here's some information we collected to get to know the district so right. she can well, think she a little bit about district. what the concern, right. and then how do you, you've done these before, right. what's, What's kind of your process that you want to flow through and talk with us and then see where we go from there? Well, I'm also thinking that you two might have some feel like there's some missing, like you said, one person said it, nine person might feel it. Like, yep. Yep. Absolutely. Barry, I, I can make a comment. Have you, have you ever worked with me? No. Okay. <laughs> there will be outcome from our meeting it, we won't we will not go to this and there won't be it won't be just a oh we had a conversation there will be a to-do list and there will be an outcome it, it, it won't happen that we'll go to this meeting and just sit around and talk something will get done i can guarantee it and i think there's two parts to that one is you know the outcome of how you all become better even better of a board coming right, together right. unity there and then the second outcome, from what I've got, and again, more discussion, but you know, our next level of strategic plan. So I think you have two pieces going on there. Uh, um, yeah. For transparency, can we see the, uh, the ideas that were submitted by the board? Yeah. I don't want mine. I don't want mine shared. I don't mean, I don't no, 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 that's fine. I mean, I, I, yeah. So we'll condense and consolidate, anonymize it, and then share the information. So that's... okay. Then um, moving on to policy uh, discussion action items. Policy. We have a number of policy items to go through. Jim, do you want to take one? Sure. You go through that. All right. These are all second readings. The first one is the second reading on new policies. They are policies hold on destruction of records, the litigation, retention of electronic records and information, and uniform treatment of recruiters. We did have questions from Barry and Kate. They were answered in the Friday email. I don't know if everyone saw them or if anyone else has any other questions. I have a process question. So this is the second reading. Does this mean when we go to the second meeting, there will be a motion to approve these? Correct. Yeah. Um, on the information you sent back for the, I went through to try to find a policy on the uh, uniform treatment of recruiters. Then the, yes, in the original policy, there's a bracket there about, you know, help with the comment, there's no specificity in the bracket. When you put the comment on the update, you simply said, specified programs that would be heard. 
I don't know what the specified programs are. I can just share. I, I would. I mean, I, I would try and stay a little vague on that because I don't think we should narrow it to one specific program okay. or two specific programs. What is the language that yeah, broader bracket? It consists of you know. Uh, Appropriate programs such as, and I don't know, I might just say those career days, college fairs, or items such as individual school, you know, dissertation location, period. So these are open, so we have other things too that would fall into that. So that would be my recommendation. Okay, so that's yeah. what you just said, that's going to be in place of the brackets on the uh, um, yeah. Where's the second um, I think all these numbers? So we have the uh, policies on the 2000 series that uh, so the new policies, the um, suggested revisions, and the deletions. So the first one is the three new ones, which is just the disruption, the retention, and the uniform treatment. Correct. Okay. Other questions? Right, I'd like to make a motion to approve the suggested new policies in the 2000 series. I'll second. I think Jill got it, Candace. Uh, but thank you. Um, further discussion? You don't have to specifically say those three policies listed here. Well, I said, I think I'm pretty sure I said as presented, so, but I can specify them if you'd like me to. Just for decision. All right, I'd like to amend my motion to say I would like to approve the following policies in the 2000 series, hold on destruction of records, litigation, retention of electronic records and information, uniform treatment of recruiters. Joe, is that okay with you? Yes, okay, second that. Okay, uh, further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Motion passed unanimously. All right, and then the second one is the suggested revision of policies in the 2000 series, which is listed here as the 2210. We are not changing anything in it. We're just giving it an up-to-date date saying that we reviewed it. It hasn't been reviewed in quite some time. Question? I'd like to make a motion to approve the suggested revision, which is a date change in policy 2210. Your second? I'll second. She's let her have it. We got it, I guess. It's <laughs> <laughs> tenacious. Uh, okay, we're, um, any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion. Oh. I'm going, I'm just was oh, reading okay. her. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so the hand go off. <laughs> okay. So moving on. So this next one is a suggested deletion of policies. This is the policies that you do not need. They are not recommended to keep by our legal department. Policy uh, agreed with their recommendation. A lot of them are statute. A lot of them are yeah, statute of, driven or yeah. they're somewhere else or there's no legal need to have them. Any question, new discussion? I Jill? do, and I should probably answer <coughs> this, Jane. So in <coughs> essence, what some of these are is they were put they're the they statute and it's in the Connecticut law. Is that correct? Some of these are in statute in Connecticut law. Some of them are not. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember say, which ones are and which ones are not. Oh, that's okay. But when you say statute, I'm going to say that it's where 
Connecticut General. It's in the Connecticut. Okay, just want to clarify that. In my okay, when I see statute, it's Connecticut General. I'm just, I'm just used to saying statute. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I worked here in the court for a long time, so I just say statute as a matter of habit. I'm okay, sorry. Thank you. Um, but none of these are done by charter. Some of these are done by um, union agreement. Um, through negotiations. Yeah. Yeah. Negotiations like they're just in their union contract negotiations. So okay. verbs. Some of the verbiage in these is in union contracts. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Other questions? Sir? I understand this policy that we're deleting it. Um, the answer is given was that uh, I asked the question if we delete, how do we monitor the progress? And the answer is through the use of other data sources. The policy is not necessary, and I recommend it. I understand it's not a policy issue, it's really a practice issue. And it left me thinking about the fact that we really have no way, or to this point, we have no way of uh, monitoring the progress towards goals like those outlined in the school improvement plans. I know that it's not a policy to do still is a procedural issue and at some point i'd like to make a motion that the board received quarterly updates on progress schools are making for their school improvement plans but i think that's a missing part of our activity right now so i'd like to make that a motion so just uh, so are you making a motion now or are you, I, I just want to, I'd like to make it now if i can so you're going to need to make an actual motion. Yeah. So yeah. What's the motion? The motion would be the Board of Ed will receive quarterly briefings on progress being made on school improvement plans. It has nothing to do with policy, but. Yeah. I, I mean, we're in the middle of another. Shouldn't that wait until uh, we discuss uh, committee uh, board comments and future agenda items? Isn't that a future agenda item? It's not I mean, policy. he's making a motion. If somebody wants to second it, second that. Further discussion? Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I, but I don't think I'm prepared to vote on this yet because I'm I'm a little confused as far as what. So this has nothing to do with policy. You're you made a motion. Can you just tell me a little bit more about what? It's the policy that we're doing. Yep. The policy that says there be uh, an activity, a process in place for the board to review curriculum and activities in the school. We're getting rid of that policy. Now, in my mind, that leaves a void. That leaves a void in us saying, like, then how do we as a board have a way to monitor the progress and activities that were outlined and the policy that we're doing? By this motion, I'm just trying to fill that void to say that as a board, we should have a process in place to monitor one of the activities that would basically an umbrella for all that stuff that's in the deleted policy would be the school improvement plans. So I think that it's uh, as a board, we should be doing some type of review and monitoring of the progress that the uh, schools are making towards activities like. Those outlined in the school improvement plan. So I'm just trying to fill the void left by the deletion of this policy. Go um, I, I hear what you're saying here. I think what Barry's talking about is something that will take a lot of time to develop those benchmarks from the policy if, in fact, the board were going to become a review for it. I'm also curious about whether there's an administrative review of those practices. So I, I think. It's worth considering, but I don't, I know I'm not ready to say, you know, let's do this. Um, but I have a lot of questions and I think it's going to be considering. Yeah, yeah can, I, can I make a <coughs> suggestion? Um, there is a, but, you know, this is a, seems like a pretty good topic at the retreat to discuss kind of more holistically of, you know, what are we trying to achieve? Why are we going to do that? And what, what it's going to do? And is that the best way to do it? Um, it seems like it's right for something we could discuss at the retreat. Is that something you'd consider or you want to, I mean. I 
Yeah. Here I have the getting picked on the This is a very important topic, I think, that can be presented in places for years, and we've never done anything like that. I think it's incumbent upon us too. And I don't think it's that uh, complicated an issue just to say that the school improvement plans are out there. And there's a shizzle at end in all the school improvement plans. And it should not be that difficult just to bring back back to the board on a daily basis to see what's happening on the school improvement plans that are already in place. Yeah, it, I mean, in fact, Jack made a very, very broad. That's a very broad motion. I have no idea how the board, 10 members, would want to see that data, see information. I think that warrants a much larger conversation. As and again, we've it's the last two years have been COVID related too. So you know it's it's hard to we've had a lot of conversations about we haven't been able to do a lot of that work because we haven't had the data to be able to do it, sort of thing. So um I just I, the retreat idea is a great one. There's where you would have that conversation so we could begin to outline how it is that that you would like to. You and you and you, 10 members would like to see that that information brought forward. I'm not saying it's not a good idea and it's not something we should do. I, I think it should be. It's just how do we outline in doing that? To, to just look at the school improvement plan, they're pretty, they're pretty specific. They are specific, yeah. Yep. It's, but we, we've been interrupted quite a bit the last two years, though, as well. So we haven't been able to produce, I think, what we really thought this year, too, we could produce. So oh, we do have some we do have some data. So, so just going back, can I again suggest that you know we're talking about a retreat in the next say month to six four to six weeks. So we're not talking about four to six years, we're not going four to six months. In four to six weeks, we'll have a retreat. You know, I, I if, if you want to outline a bit of what kind of in a little more context of what you're shooting for and provide that to us as well, so that we have the context to bring it to the retreat to be happy. Or you can keep your motion and we can go to your motion. I'm just, that's a suggestion of waiting for the retreat and seeing if, if we can make progress that way. We do have a second on the table too. Yep. And we're in discussion. So yep. I think you gotta. Yep. Yep. You can yep. receive it. You can receive it. That's right. Yeah. Yep. I guess it's my question because I, I hear what Gary's saying and I, I, I agree with him, but I also realize that this can be done with two years of pandemic, and we all know how it affected us personally, let alone the school system. So is there, what, however we vote, we vote on this. But I think when you, I would like to put a marker out there in the history. Yeah, with the, I think bringing it to the, uh, what do you call it? The retreat. retreat is a good point, but I want to be sure that maybe for at least 2022 and 2022 or 2023, <laughs> that we really think about doing this and that it's a committee put together that outlines that, but I don't want to lose track of what he's saying. I think it's- Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Agreed. Okay. And I think when we talk about the retreat, one of the things about having the retreat- But that's was, not going to be concrete as much, like what I'm saying is- Well, it's, it's to set up. So one of the okay. things that, you know, for the past two years, we've been discussing, you know, do we wear a mask, do we not wear a mask, we're- cohorting, we're hybrid, not hybrid, all that. We're hopefully, fingers crossed, we're coming out of that. And now's the time really that we should focus is what's next. Okay. And what are those okay. things? And this might be something that hits those things. And then we have to figure out what exactly, how it all, all right. kind of fits together okay. and what it is yeah. to drive forward. That That's and part know, of, kind of my teacher plan. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right, well, I'll remind you. Absolutely. Well, it, it should be part of the retreat. I mean, it's 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 kind of right in the sweet spot of what we're trying to have discussions on is what is next and what are those things that we can do. It sounds like it aligns really nicely with like what you said, what we're trying to accomplish in the retreat. For me, I think that we warrant that retreat discussion. We have the opportunity to fill that out. I call the question, please. Barry, do you want to continue with the motion and we'll go to a vote? No, we're going to change the call as a question. You have a second. You have a second. No. On the question. <coughs> Jamie called the question. Um, yeah, I called the question and we two thirds to basically. 
Portugal vote on the motion? I called the question so you gotta, to stop discussion. That's right. No more discussion. That means it goes to a vote. Go to a vote. We are voting on Barry's motion to receive quarterly updates on school improvement. Okay. All so those. That, that, just the motion. That's, that's the motion. All, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Whatever. Hold on. I was opposed. We got you, Candace. Thanks. And a same the bill. It's uh, 442. It doesn't pass. No. Yeah. Uh, so motion does not pass. So let's going back to the original issue of the policy. But Barry, please send in your thoughts uh, to Jeff and I for for the retreat. Uh, yeah, uh, definite a topic that needs to be discussed. To yeah. make a motion to approve the suggested deletion of policies. 2100, 2111, 2121, 2130, 2140, 2141, 2145, 2220, 2231, 2250, and 2400. I'll second. Further discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Abstain. Okay, motion passes. Uh, the next one. Sure, the next one is suggested deletions of the 3000 policies. Same things. Let's get the other ones. Same things from our attorney. Suggested deletions. Questions. There. There's a question on uh, policy 3310, which is standards for developing the budget. In the update of uh, the responses, we will use the standards in our town charter and the Connecticut general statute 10-222. Sorry, Barry, which one is that? Yeah, it's not yeah. on this list. This is uh, policy 3310. You mean 3100? Looks like. You mean three uh, one? Formulation of a budget? Uh, three, uh, three, three one, one zero zero. zero. Yeah. Three one zero. Okay. 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 Well, yeah, I didn't see that either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, can you? Because we were all looking for what it what is yeah, three, three, three one zero zero. This was a process to send the response was that uh, we will use standards in our town charter and in the uh, Connecticut General Statute. Now, the uh, again, this is um, a void similar to the last one where for three years when we've been trying to deal with budgets, we had discussions about um, the outcome. Uh, this year we made progress to have outcomes on the 4% increase in the budget that uh, uh, we were able to put in there. And it still left like 94%, 96% of the budget without uh, specific outcomes in terms of what was going and what we're delivering in terms of the $55 million dollars, you know, as an outcome for uh, the budget that we adopted. So, as before, I'd like to make a motion that. To fill this void, uh, the next fiscal year budget will include specific outcomes, measures of accountability for the entire budget, not just the budget increases, to inform taxpayers of the return on their $55 million investment. So, I guess my question is are you asking us not to delete it, to keep it and alter it? No. You can delete the policy simply because you, uh, again, under the idea, you said that the policy is not necessary. You're looking for a new, you're looking so for, a new you're looking for a new policy. No, what, you what you've said before is that the policy is not necessary, right? It's, it's process oriented, right? So the policy is not necessary, and 
you know, the, the uh, lawyer said it does exist, and so I can't go against that. We don't need a policy, but by deleting the policy, we may avoid in terms of the accountability for how we go about developing the budgets. So I'm trying to fill that void with the motion that for this next year, we develop specific outcomes for the budget that we're going to bring forward for this next year. Barry, I, I let the motion from the other one go through. I'm going to, you know, recommend. Can I? Can I recommend? Can I recommend that that's again something that we can talk about at a retreat? We can talk about how we function. It's more about how we function and what we're looking for as a board rather than trying to make a motion in the middle of our getting through our policies. I mean, that's just my, my recommendation. I we can do it, I, but the issue is that I, it, it's, a, it's a very important topic. And, you know, as we keep everything that we keep coming up with, it's like, okay, we're putting this on the docket for the retreat. We're putting this on the docket for the retreat. We're putting this on the docket for the retreat, which means that we probably won't get to it. Well, I, you, yeah, I, I, I kind of disagree. I mean, what we need to talk about at the retreat or what are the things that we're going to prioritize? What I can tell you is all these things we put on the list, we may not prioritize. It's not saying that we're going to prioritize and, and then have a group look at this and make sure we drive and stuff, because then we need to decide what are those things that we do want to drive. Um, but it, it's on the topic for discussion at the retreat. I'll pause it. Jamie, if you want no, to my, my, my statement was going to say that our current policy doesn't even have that language in there that you're looking for. So I guess I'm Should you trying to figure out what it is you're looking for. You're not looking for a policy. You're just looking for a statement in a motion that we're going to be. It's, it's coming up in the what? It's coming up in the policy discussion, but it's really a process. That's, that's what I'm trying what, to it's figure out. Process question of what we're going to do as a board and what we we want from Jeff and his team to provide to us. I mean, that's how, what I see is we're having that kind of come. What do we expect from Jeff and us um, work collaboratively to, to produce? Um, seems like it's coming up in the policy discussion. I don't know that it exactly fits. I have, I have a question, and I'm just wondering. So, the the sex offender notification, but that was another one that we're looking to eliminate or delete. Yeah, I just want. We have a motion. I just. Yeah, but he has nobody second it yet. Yeah. So, and this is a this is a process thing, perhaps too. So, we delete this. Then what happens? I mean, there is a policy under the 1,000 series that we approved at our last meeting. Okay, so it's been replaced. The, the, the process, I guess, is somewhat cumbersome and knowing logistically. Yeah, at yeah. the last Board of Ed meeting, we approved uh, policy 1250.1. It might be easier or clearer if we could have a better understanding that it's not just a matter of deletion of a policy, but the policy, because these are protective things. So if we don't have the policy in place, what's going to continue to provide that protection and procedure for all of us so that we know that things are okay. And that's- Well, perhaps yeah. if this had a conversation or discussion about some of this, that might really expedite the whole process rather than this system that we're going through. Uh, may I may I interject and just make a suggestion? I people can't really see me, so I'm so sorry. Is it a possible? Yeah, please. Go ahead, Candace. Oh, okay. So great. So to me, I'm listening to a tremendous amount of confusion about policy, process, legality, all of these different things. And it's appearing that people are taking the opportunity at board meetings to a question and almost interrogate. That's kind of what I'm listening to and watching to take that opportunity. And it's simply the wrong forum. If, if understanding and education on policy and the process, maybe we need to bring someone in 
to educate the board members on how we are to do things, the legality part of it, the questions, the Q and A. Maybe I'm not. I'm just. I'm trying to. I think <clears throat> process listening and watching the board. <laughs> and it's interesting because normally I'm there, right? But this time I'm I'm watching and tuning in and it really screams that some board members really need some navigation on the process of policy. So is that a possibility? Yeah, so Candace, what I would, it's a great point and, and Jeff and I touched a little bit about this is, you know, one, so, you know, People have time to go to one of the policy meetings, and I've now I didn't go previously, and I've started to go the past few. You learn a lot about the process just by attending one and hearing what are working with their attorney, what they're saying, and why they're su suggesting these changes that I think will make everyone a lot more comfortable that we're following a really good process. We are getting very good advice from our attorneys. We're, we're working through this, you know, Jamie, Elisa, Jill, um, are really putting some rigor into how we go through this. So I, 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 that's what I would suggest rather than, you know, bringing in attorneys to give a training. We can, um, but again, there's dollar signs associated with that. So I, if, if we already are using them at the policy meetings, they're already there and we're already paying for them. I strongly suggest, you know, come to one of those. You will get, a, I know I got a lot more comfortable after attending a couple of those on how this process works. We're also, you know, we have to go soon. You know, we're trying to get through all these policies that if you look at a lot of the dates, they're last revised 1994. And they just haven't been looked at for whatever reason they haven't. And we're trying to get through the, you know, one through 9,000 series. And once we've done that and updated them, then there's every opportunity that if someone sees a policy and say, you know, I, can we take a look at that and bring a suggestion to the policy committee? Can we look at this? Because I have some questions, or I was thinking maybe one of them. That's what the policy committee is spending time on more of the discussion about the policy and how we approach it and how we write it. Right now, we're trying to get through and update these policies, which is a Herculean task. Um, and trying to get through that. So my suggestion would be, if you're unsure of the process, please come to one of the policy meetings or two. Um, again, as a listener, as a public listening hearing, um, and then we kind of can move from there. So that would be my suggestion. Just a quick point of clarification. We've had policy meetings, we understand policy, and I'm not questioning policy. The policies are as they're suggested, but move on. The problem comes to this meeting is that for us to introduce a motion to be considered, we either have to try to go through the um, item 14 and see if we can get it in that way, mm -hmm. or we introduce it as part of a topic that's currently being discussed. Now, in this case, because the Budget is currently being discussed as one of the policies. I'm introducing a motion related to the budget, not to the policy. To fill a void left by the policy being deleted. So this is not a policy issue. But we're under discuss we're under discussion action items for policy. But one of the policies, and you're saying it's not a policy issue that you're making a motion. Do you, you understand where there, there's a disconnect, right? But see, the topic is the budget. Because the budget is a topic, we can introduce a motion related to the topic of the budget. The topic is policy. And the topic so of that policy is the budget. The subtopic. Yeah, well, I, motion. Well, motion. We can't. Uh, I just you know, that we've been here for three years, and this this clear issue of our budget to say what are we doing with it keeps getting kicked down, kicked down, kicked down the road. We never get to it. But Barry, I'm just trying to figure out a way to get there. If you're telling me you're going to do it in part we, of the uh, retreat. We, we, we'll do it. May we'll I do point it. of order? Point of order. Yeah, Candace, I think we're, I think we're moving, we'll move on and we all have to 
leave. So and we'll, we'll move on. I think Barry's withdrew drew the motion. Barry, I'm happy to talk to you, you know, another time just how we make this kind of work and stuff. Can we, on the, because there were not questions on, any questions on the policies that we have here? I would like to make a motion to approve the suggested deletions of the following policies in the 3000 series 33,000, 31,30,40, 32,40, 32,50, 31,70, 31,80, 32,90, 33,13, 35,13,1, 35,14, 35,16, 35,16.1, 35,17, 35,24.2, 35,25, 35,26, 35,27, 35,28, 35,29, 35,30, 35,31, 35,32, 35,33, 35,34, 35,35, 35,36, 35,37, 35,38, 35,39, 35,40, 35,41, 35,42, 35,43, 35,44, 35,45, 36,47, 36,48, 36,49, 36,50, 36,51, 36,52, 36,53, 36,54, 36,55, 36,56, 36,57, 36,58, 36,59, 36,60, 36,61, 36,62, 36,63, 36,64, 36,65, 36,66, 36,67, 36,68, 36,69, 36,70, 36,71, 36,72, 36,73, 36,74, 36,75, 36,76, 36,77, 36,78, 36,79, 36,80, 36,81, 36,82, 36,83, 36,84, 36,85, 36,86, 36,87, 36,88, 36,89, 36,90, 36,91, 36,92, 36,93, 36,94, 36,95, 36,96, 36,97, 36,98, 36,99, 36,10, 35,13.1, 35,16, 35,15, 35,16.1, 35,17, 35,18, 35,19, 35,20, 35,21, 35,22, 35,23, 35,24, 35,25, 36,37, 36,38, 36,39, 36,40, 36,41, 36,42, 36,43, 36,44, 36,45, 36,46, 36,47, 36,48, 36,49, 36,50, 36,51, 36,52, 36,53, 36,54, 36,55, 36,56, 36,57, 36,58, 36,59, 36,60, 36,61, 36,62, 36,63, 36,64, 36,65, 36,66, 36,67, 36,68, 36,69, 36,70, 36,71, 36,72, 36,73, 36,74, 36,75, 36,76, 36,77, 36,78, 36,79, 36,80, 36,81, 36,82, 36,83, 36,84, 36,85, 36,86, 36,87, 36,88, 36,89, 36,90, 36,91, 36,92, 36,93, 36,94, 36,95, 36,96, 36,97, 36,98, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 36,99, 